It was an unusual sight at Calvin Klein's fall collection this week, a triumvirate of supermodels from the 90s. Oh my God, apparently it was 13 years since I last did the show. In fashion, where a minuscule size zero is the norm and youth rules the runway, designer Francisco Costa brought back older, slightly curvier, though still thin models. What I was trying to do here is really um, not really uh, represent the past, but encourage the future. The 90s were about womanly supermodels, but in recent years, there's been an unhealthy trend using very thin, very young, nearly indistinguishable girls to sell clothes. Some only 13 years old, according to fashion insiders who say age is something most in the business ignore. The, the difference is, I think when I was around, when they were, when they were maybe, you know, unhealthy, they would be sent home. And now it's like a desired look. Many models have been scouted from former Eastern Bloc countries. Far from home, it's easier for the girls to lie about their age. There cannot be uh, a fashion, uh, don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask her age, so she won't have to answer it. DNA model agency founder David Benouvrier says age and work regulations do exist in the U.S., but it's rare that the rules are followed. They know when, she, when, when they're fitting somebody that's underage or 15 years old, they know. It just has to stop. The Council of Fashion Designers of America is concerned about the diminishing age, size, and health of models. Powerful voices like Vogue's Anna Wintour and Victoria's secret model Dowson Cruz are among the few to speak out. I don't do runway shows because I don't fit the sample size. Might have fit it when I was 11 or 12. Cruz says agents and designers alike enable the unhealthy cycle for teen models. When you're so young and you get the pressure to lose weight, you'll do it because you're too young to, to make the right decision. It's a concern that's been lost in the glamour and business of fashion. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, New York.